Hello everyone, I am Zoe Vermillion, and like every week in Wacky Races, I am joined by a wonderful guest commentator. This week we have someone who is far more talented than, than I am in the practical real world sense, uh, podcaster, novelist, game designer, and first time free enterprise commentator, Trick Dempsey. How are you doing, Trick? Doing very well. I'm here for the first time and I've had too much caffeine. So I'm sorry, everyone, and you're welcome. Y'all, y'all. I did my whole intro with my did mic you muted. To, did you, you forgot to unmute your mic. I forgot what? to unmute my mic. We're so going we to such a good intro. We are one for three for getting what? this right so far. What? No, I'm going to try one more time. I'm at least going to read the blurb. I have to gather <sighs> back up my courage. <laughs> Jeez, God, no. I will redo the blurb, which is on today's episode. Have you ever had so much caffeine swirling in your veins that you wish you could warp up to the moon so you could fight a moon wizard in an epic battle to the death where entire universes are both made and unmade in the same instant? Well, good news, everyone. That's what we're doing today on Wacky Races. I will get it right next week. Next I will week. get it next week for sure. Next week for <laughs> sure. Let me go actually start the race. <laughs> yeah, oh, race, race used to hope. start. Um... Yes. Before, while Skull is getting that uh, race started, briefly want to touch on uh, the random objective this week being completely at Lion Nest. So uh, the seed decides, yes, we want to go fast. That's a very free objective. We'll get that right off the bat. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the same flag set that we're used to the past two weeks. Uh, the wacky challenge this week is gotta go fast. And the static objective this week is to unlock the Pastor in Troya because we do not have time to walk down the Lunar Subterrain. Oh, but I'm really hoping that this means that we get to see a really quickly raided treasury. Because I haven't gotten to raid a treasury yet. <laughs> yeah, the treasury's the nightmare to raid. It's so finicky trying to go in there. Uh, but yeah, so this is your first time commentating. Uh, this is going to be completely normal, no nothing to see here. So what are you looking forward to in this race? I'm looking forward to a really chill time to have a, to, you know, just really get my feet wet, really commentating on the races. Normal things are going to happen. It's, there seems to be something wrong with the child. <laughs> yeah, uh, Porum seems to be uh, that child that uh, when you take him to the supermarket, they just keep like stepping on the back of your feet. I know I was that child growing up, so. I think she's trying to eat Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem healthy. I don't know how many calories a Dark Knight Cecil's worth, but it's probably more than her daily intake. Oh no, I don't, that, that's gotta be terrible. Did you yeah. see what our item was? Uh, uh, no. Tw <laughs> twin heart. Cool. Oh, it's a harp. Uh, we started with the harp. We started with the harp. We gotta go fast. Started with music. Nobody's gonna. No one's gonna be kind enough to us to actually immediately start with music, are they? Uh, not with this party. No, we're gonna need a bit more physical damage. Right now, a DKC Porum start <laughs> is a. Uh, very lacking in the damage department. Uh, oh my, oh, good lord. <laughs> okay. Death has found the Y button. All right, cool. He figured out how to slow down. Oh, right, look, there's a, uh, there's an evil wall prancing around the Baron Inn, uh, as well as another Cecil just uh, looking for his contacts. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a lightsaber. That's oh, pretty good. Sword. Oh, that's really nice. For either of these Cecils, it's pretty good. All right. Oh, Death is going to be brave. Are you going to go to the back? <laughs> Come on, Death, you can do it. Oh, what? Uh, oh, we I got can't. there. Uh, we made it. <laughs> this is so fun. The, playing this, like uh, on Monday, I played this uh, to like to test out the wacky flags, just to to better understand what it is I'm going to be talking about. And like immediately afterwards, it went into a mystery seed, and I felt so slow because you do eventually get used to this, um, but it is incredibly fast in trying to accurately hit some of these openings. You you want to swag your way through. You don't want to use that Y button too often. Uh, but sometimes, I, I, sometimes you have to. I love how de like delightfully slow the Enterprise itself seems. You're like, oh, okay, <laughs> maybe I should just run. Yeah, there's multiple times where I was just like, hey, I can just run fast and it's going to take me to take the Enterprise. Oh, Jeff, it's... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the, the interlude uh, speed. This is uh, for, anybody, <laughs> for anybody who's ever played um, any sort of RPG on an emulator using the fast forward feature, this is what it's like to try and navigate. Also, it's, it's basically how it's like to play Career Day. Uh, yeah, very true. Career Day, you, you got the zoomies. I am, I am honestly a little sad that they've discovered the Y button. I was really hoping to just see. Oh, it, it, poor Cecil is face planting so many times. This, this is the one time where we're very sad that unlike uh, uh, the uh, Link to the Past randomizer, we do not have a bonk counter. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, both runners. Uh, 
taken the same early looting path. Uh, they both looted Baron a bit, uh, both coming here into Water Pass. Found a Power Shirt. Uh, once you get this Cecil turned into a Paladin uh, from Mount Ordeals, that Power Shirt's going to pair really nicely with that Light Sword. Dathus, can you get out? Okay. Um, that Middle Sword, have we seen any other ninja gear? It's because uh, fast. Um, I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, but there's plenty of seed remaining. Uh, middle Sword's not super great, but it's better than the starting Short Swords. Uh, and Dathus is going to go over to Mount Hobbs and show us our first character check. Uh, oh, I'm pretty, not. please, Mount Hobbs. There is something that can happen up here that I'm not going to spoil. I don't know if either runner knows about it. I think Scythe Marshall may have seen me talking about it. Scythe Marshall um, does know about it. Yeah. Oh, I, oh uh, the corpse is chasing. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's fine. Don't it's worry fine. about he's it. Just, he's just crawling. He's a, he's a scooting. <laughs> oh, it's got a bit of the scoots. Yeah. He's uh, just, there's a slip and slide down there now. Yeah, he's just looking for some water. It's fine. Uh, oh, okay. Dance party on, on Hobbs. We got Bygen guarding a palum. Oh, that's... Oh. I always get the, the the various of that sprite colors confused. So yeah, uh, everyone has oh, this their is a own. nice place to find Bygen. That's a yeah. nice place to find Bygen. Uh, so there's also some scootin' corpses here and also some fire that's moving around. Uh, fire don't care. We, we, okay. We, we may see Anna uh, trying to run away from us here in a moment. Ah, uh, he, uh, he got, he got uh, too quickly. She is off center though. Um, this is this is my mnemonic for remembering the twins when we're looking at their overworld sprites. Forum has the green cape for heals. Palum has the red cape for for damage. That's how I tend to remember them. For for me, uh, I think I mentioned it last week. Is uh, green uh, green shirt is earth element for quake because he's the quake kid. That also works. It basically there are a couple ways to to do it. I know people do poor rom is orange poor and um, orange, and palum yeah. is is lime. Yeah. So, I will say I love this particular sprite color for Cecil because oh, when he's standing you. up, I keep thinking that it's not a helmet, but rather his hair is swept really emo and really <laughs> dramatic. I mean, that, that tracks for Dark Knight Cecil. Let's all be honest yep. there. <laughs> all right. Odin's taking a shower in the waterfall. Not going to be worrying about him. Nobody's fighting that. Uh, Dathis, okay. Uh, so Dathis... Uh, Th th this is something <laughs> that I'm curious if he's he could just be really looking for a loop, but there's also this this mental trick this flag plays on you, which is I move so quickly. None of these checks are going to take time. <laughs> this but is it. Oh. <laughs> but, but you have to use that time to then go like you could use that to go somewhere else. Uh, Scythe Marshall has joined up here. I wonder if he'll show off the thing. If he doesn't, then I'll, I'll mention it. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much. I did like Bygen just sort of off. dancing away. Yeah. Yeah. Because the the cinematic, I guess, triggers down there and just plays from that location. Oh, yeah. So all the, yeah. All the cinematics, um, their positions are hard coded to be relative movement to where the sprite was. So if they were meant to move down, they moved down from wherever they were. Uh, that that can cause some rather funny stuff uh, a little bit later. Just small things. Um, <laughs> there's so much just wacky movement in this and it's really indicative of uh not indicative it's it, it's just perfect for the flag itself because this is the first wacky races flag we've had so far that actually doesn't really change the gameplay mm -hmm. uh all the the combat all the equipment everything is as you would expect it's just the old world movement that is just pure chaos also yeah and i'm seeing that like the the twins were they using bluff at all or or cry cry what am i thinking uh Twin magic? They're, they're mostly twin. using twin magic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, twin, twin magic's good in the early game um, because it can hit a decent amount of damage um, compared to Palum just straight casting. Uh, mm. Plus, it also doesn't count as magic, uh, so it can it doesn't trigger black magic counters from stuff like Ogo Pogo. Um, flare can still be reflected, which is kind of nasty on Bygen, so. Yeah, I was like, I thought Bygen had reflect up usually. Yeah, the comet can get through, the flare cannot. <laughs> um, uh, how's that save going? Well, and then you have like the whole, you know, the save point drift that also exists. Oh yeah, trying to do that going this fast was uh, was a was a treat I kept missing. By the way, because no. we Mm -hmm. uh, oh, just because we, we missed it going uh, at the beginning. Can I just shout out how good the naming schemes are today? So, oh, uh, Psych so Marshall good. went with uh, Sonic. Dathis, I was joking uh, earlier in the green room, courted to me going with the Nonary Games series. It's so good. I love the Nonary Games. Oh. Not 
So I was very pleased to see that. Spike Chunsoft games, very close to my heart. Um, so we got uh, Mylon Z here in Antlion. Uh, this will be oh. our objective number four. And this is probably not going to be too terribly difficult. We have some cure potions from our starter kit, which you can use. Uh, the black sword from the starter kit means this Dark Knight Cecil start isn't as painful as it could be. Plus a couple twins means we got some twin magic. And there we go. Can we just shout out the flare sound? Waka, so waka, 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 waka. <laughs> it's such a it's good... I mean, so good. I mean, I think that's one of the most common things, like, like that everyone kind of agrees on, is that the sound effects in this game are so strong. Oh, it's, absolutely. I mean, my absolute favorite continues to just be the slow spell sound. I cannot describe how satisfying it is. My 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 favorite is the bloop that you get when the boss of the Mylon Z spot falls off the bridge, uh, oh. followed closely by the virus sound effect, which is my ringtone for text. <laughs> um, my, my 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 text tone is the um, well the one for like general messages is the uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, load load uh, game like like little part. <laughs> and then for uh, text messages, it is the little the little piano at the end of the Square Enix logo. Oh, perfect. perfect. So it looks like we got the pan. Do you think this means that we're going to try to fade Fabul entirely until we get underground? Or is that unlikely given our <laughs> velocity? So it's tricky. With the pan, you could get the really nice triple dip. Um, looks like Dathis may have that in mind. Heading over to our deals. Uh, this will allow him to get a key item <laughs> check as well as to turn on his uh, his, his Paladin Cecil. Um, Yay, Chocobo but, friend. Yeah, Ch Chocobo friend. Uh, healing up and using the White Chocobo to get MP back is uh, pretty heads up there. Um, so yeah, I think Dathis may have that in mind. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of it. If I had more party power, I would, but Fabul is an easier boss check with this party than trying to take down all three ordeals. Cause if you get something nasty at the back attack, then you maybe just wasted a whole bunch of time. I still keep thinking that I'm seeing a laggy stream and it is just that they are rocketing across the stages. Someone said that during my stream. They're like, I thought, uh, I thought the stream was choppy and I realized that you're just moving that quickly. It's too fast for 1990s technology to handle. <laughs> hey, it's, land on the save point. It's it's yeah, like um, job. Are, are there like some uh, like adventure games and uh, other games that were designed to run on like 90s clock speed and you basically can't play them now? Uh, uh, I, Dark, I played Dark and Sky. Dark and uh, Sky Runner, is like that. Yeah, Blade Runner, the old Blade Runner game. If you get to any of the action sequences in it uh, and your clock is running fast, it uh, it just crashes uh, or nobody spawns. Uh, Darken Sky, uh, I think it's frame rate is tied to your clock speed. Oh no. Um, Clover just, uh, bonked Sigma in the face. Uh, yeah. why did they do that? Um, so Clover has a power staff equipped. Uh, power staff upon, uh, landing a blow has a chance to berserk. And if you know the ATB system well enough in this game, you can manipulate that to get a 100% berserk chance. So that was just a way of berserking up this Dark Knight Cecil without needing to have the berserk spell yet. Ooh. And of course, the best sound effect in the game, playing over and over because you two were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, oh, I didn't say which one I thought was my favorite sound effect, though. Ah, what? it is. A, they were all good sound effects. They, I, yeah, I was on team. It's all good sound effects. Um, ooh, which one would I pick though for my for my favorite that's an actually like a good question demi and chat talking about the, the kachow spear kachow spear is oh, definitely up oh, there it's so good um hmm i actually have to like think about this about uh, what so i have to make a i have to make a quick like way back discussion so they picked up a crystal shield earlier and i always think ah oh, crystal items they're very good mm -hmm. but I think I might be wrong when I think that about the shield. Is that a correct instinct? So the shield is up there in like my top three shields. Uh, it's very good. It gives good uh, status, uh, good stats. Uh, it also resists undead, I believe, uh, which is very good. Uh, typically though, the Aegis shield 
is what many consider to be the best shield in the game uh, because it gives mage resistance as well as the highest magic defense, which is most important on Zeromus because he doesn't do any physical attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the Dracoon Spears in that conversation as well, just by giving the dragon resistance as well as uh, resistance to all three elementals. Um, so three really good shields. Crystal Sword's main downfall is that it's only equipable by Cecil, uh, whereas the Dragoon and Aegis shields can be equipped by Cecil, Kane, and Sith. Uh, so we've got the Canadian Nope Noodle here. Am I understanding our slang correctly? Uh, Canadian Nope Rope. Nope Rope. Darn it. Almost Le there. Leviathan uh, is, is the Danger Noodle. Is this a bad place for the Danger Noodle to be? Um, this one's not too bad. Um, Ogo Pogo at this spot, because it's the back tech, he gets that, uh, that big wave off like he normally would. Also, we'll usually get a free melee swing. Um, the attack power here isn't the highest. Um... So you're not super concerned about that. As long as you have the healing to keep up with uh, the big waves, uh, mm -hmm. this is really nice. Uh, stuff you don't want to see here are like uh, magic bosses or multi-unit fights because they can uh, they can tear through a low-level party pretty quickly. I am disappointed because this means that I think we've seen two moon sparkles, and I want those moon sparkles to be someplace where they can hurt people. Um, yeah, it, it, it's as a commentator, it's always disappointing to see some of the moon bosses out of the way early, but. At the same time, some of those early game bosses, if you put them into the uh, into those late game spots, they can become equally as nasty. So like Antlion on the moon is absolutely horrifying. Ant so... I want Antlion at Wyvern. <laughs> Antlion in, in their natural territory. Also, I, I have I have decided my my favorite sound effect is is a tie between the kapang sound effect when you when you when you whack Yang with the pan. Hold on, hold on. Oh well, it wasn't. It was. It, uh, we're our audio's on uh, Scythe Marshall's side. I don't care. So okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one, I think, one that I think is 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 definitely uh, underrated, is the uh, the little sh 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 that happens at the end of uh, Fire Three. Oh yeah, it's really good. <laughs> like yeah, fireworks. Nice heat. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, to Kenji Ito for the sound effects in this game <laughs> and for also doing the music of Final Fantasy Legend 2, which is the best Yum. Game Boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, eat that dark crystal. <laughs> but Kluya, Kluya just up at the top of the Mount Ardeo is going, take this. <laughs> is that Leviathan? That is the Leviathan, wow. yes. Wow, it's, it's, it's Noodle Mountain today. <laughs> it, it's just all pasta all day. It's just, it's Olive Garden here on Mount Ordeals. <laughs> Hope you brought your pasta pass. <laughs> Why'd it have to be steaks? <laughs> it's the log plume. Yes, the log, log plume. plume. <laughs> Return of the log plume. <laughs> it is, it is we just, a disc is pale to him. We, we, we just, just needed Kainatsu. We just needed Kainatsu. Yeah, pale dim. We had, we had We had three noodly boys. Uh, and we now have a paladin who is not as noodly. Also, for for Starfall Infinity in chat, because I know exactly which meme you're referencing. Water and water and water and water and water and water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, we have our Darkness Crystal. Uh, that is great. That is uh, going to get us full access to the moon, uh, as well as a character check, a gated shop check for, for items and consumables. Um, but not much else. Um, we are going to be getting the pass in this regardless because it is a required four out of four. So that is not going to be uh, likely our Zeromus access. Um, I, also, I also just realized uh, for our lovely tracker, uh, Objective Four says defeat Antlion when it was defeat Antlion's Nest. So I've got a question. When I when I dreamed of how how horrible the routing on this could possibly go, my question was uh, Darkness Crystal and Magma Key. Like I wanted Magma Key and Darkness Crystal to be literally the first two checks. Mm -hmm. We're getting very close to that right now. I wanted to be given Magma and then find Darkness uh, in the in the Fey March. That's what I wanted in my heart of hearts. That would, that what would is been the most actually. open? What is like the, the 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 cruelest thing that we can imagine right now, knowing that we have a Darkness Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> um, basically putting the hook, the rat tail, the legend sword, and the adamant and the pass all in the moon. Okay. <laughs> just go moon, have fun, uh, would be what I would say. Just if our runners just keep coming up with, with whiffs and just nothing of value over and over again, it can really, uh, 
Put the put put some fear into your soul going for all the key items. Can, can, but can underground access be on the moon? Uh, no, not in this flag set. Uh, that okay. would require KM safe to be on, um, which would uh, because normally without K unsafe, you have a guaranteed path to the underground without going to the moon. Um, with K unsafe, it says, I don't care. You'll be able to get underground somehow. It's just not going to be locked behind itself. Um, and I've got another weird question. They've summoned the big whale. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that there is a now a black chocobo outside of Baron and maybe also at Mount Ordeals? Almost. Uh, the one outside Baron. I don't know about Ordeals. The one outside Baron, okay. you have to step onto the whale. Uh, okay. that, that's the trigger for spawning it. But yes, uh, they do have the Twin Harp if they wanted to show off the Swag Chocobo. They absolutely could. They have a Power Shirt, they have a Light Sword Cecil, they have a Bacchus one in here somewhere. Um, that's probably enough to take down most things at uh, Cave Magnus if they wanted to do that. Ooh, I see a Dragon in Mitts and, and Helmets. This is yeah. pretty solid, solid armor for, well, good, Cloth and a Light Sword. <laughs> Yeah, the light sword is nothing to shake a stick at. 99 power, 99 accuracy, plus five strength, uh, along with this power shirt that is quite a bit of damage in the dragoon uh, gauntlet, giving good defensive. That crystal sword, as we mentioned, uh, crystal shield, as we mentioned, being very good. Uh, the weak part of that uh, loadout, I think, was whatever helmet Cecil has on, which is not that good. Samurai, it looked like. Yeah, Samurai is okay, uh, especially the Genji armor from later Final Fantasies. Um, mm. But yeah, uh, Deathus? Just watching the people dance. Just watching the dance. Uh, no, Big Chocobo doesn't dance. He's uh, he's he's a bit too big to move. Also, now we're on the right sound effect. Now we get the bloop. 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 That is what are you? <laughs> Why? Were you say, saying hi to the Big Chocobo friend? I appreciate it. Thank you for saying hi to our mascot. Love is stored in the Big Chocobo. Yes, along with the crystal sword. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're if you're you know doing things right, you know you 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 make sure that 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 uh that the big chocobo gets a nice you know hearty snack. It's very crunchy. It's full of min minerals. <laughs> uh, Death is uh, trying to get out of here. Is going to come on. There we go. Uh, make his way into the lunar subterrain and check this Ooh. character. I'm curious, is the Lunar Shop noticeably different, or is it just the same chaos as always? They actually don't move any faster, from what I noticed. They're just they're just all still moving. Oh, vanilla oh, food. You're kidding me. Yeah. The Lunar <laughs> oh. Shop is the same chaos it always is, but vanilla foo, um, but not vanilla vanilla foo, fortunately. They still have to work for some spells. Uh, but this one's already got a handful of bosses under his belt. Um, I don't think he's quite to the point where he's reached his minimum required level to get nuke if uh, things roll cor uh, roll correctly. But uh, my hopes least... for an my hopes for an all children with a paladin babysitter has been foiled by an old man. <laughs> <laughs> it's his uncle. It's fine. He's just coming along for the ride. Oh, okay, that uncle makes Mop. sense. Yeah, well, Uncle Mop. In Fu's eyes, they're all children, and he's the babysitter. <laughs> that is very true. That is very very true. Uh, no good white ma magic. Oh, we have ice three. That's not that's not awful. Uh, Deathus is going to do a bit of looting here in Cape Bahamut. Uh, decent loot here. Uh, and by decent loot, I mean one chest maybe. Um, and then show us the boss. Oh, two chests. Three chests? No, just two chests. Everyone loves ice arrows. Everyone Every wants them. Everyone wants them. <laughs> uh, Luke is going for a, a dance there. He's just jamming. He's he, he's jamming. He's got his he's got his uh he's got his AirPods in. He's just jamming. All right, all right. But is is or is not Luke listening to She Blinded Me with Science? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That song is 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 fantastic. All right, Dathis has uh, finished exploring the moon for now. He will likely be back later. Gonna go back to the blue planet where Scythe Marshall is raising the big whale. And we'll likely be following Death's footsteps. We'll see if he goes to to spy on Luge, uh, jamming out to some music, uh, while Dathus goes to Baron Inn to go back and uh, help that Cecil find his contacts. Hey, that's what we call a callback. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Will this be a duplicate Cecil? Is oh. that what we'll be seeing oh. here? Oh, Dathus! Come on, oh. Dathus! Dathus! <laughs> He's doing it! So this is, this is, he's trying. This is a thing. This is, this is absolutely a thing that um, D 
Dijon pointed out in my chat while I was practicing, which was, hey, can you just go to Baron Castle? And I was like, I don't think so. And then I went and yeah, sure enough, you can just walk into Baron Castle. No Baron key required. Oh, oh but you triggered the boss. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, it's just guards. It's just guards. If someone loves XP, they can get a life glitch. It'll be wonderful. It's fine. It's just you got the zoomies that you walked into the <laughs> to the boss tile. Half the points. Although we to knew come who here they early. were. Yeah. Well, we knew they was either officer, soldier, or baron guards. Um, and we got the shop. We got vampires. Ooh, vampires delicious. Use them for those <sighs> sweet, sweet under twelve hundred or twelve hundred days boost stats. Yep, we got uh, some froggy strats. Uh, because soldiers don't take orders from frogs. It is well known. It is uh, well, it's... part of the Baron military hierarchy. Toads are below soldiers. Well, the, the thing is, is that what we need is we need one of those frogs to, you know, wield the Masamune. And then we're good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Or uh, or just have a harp. Be good, too. Mm-hmm. That twin magic doing, you know, a hundred damage to everything is looking less impressive by the minute. Uh, that was Rob. Okay, so Flare is the single target of the twin magic, so its damage does get split based off of targets. And I believe that was also using Porum's wisdom stat, so that was, would explain a little bit. Um, that or this spot just has higher magic defense than I remember. Either one's valid. Um, but Comet is the uh, AoE version, which will hit everyone equally. Hmm. Um, I also just noticed that the, the moon character comes down super fast too. <laughs> Kulia, oh. uh, I mean, not Kulia, Fusoya was like, I don't have time to wait. Come on, let's go. Uh, somebody gave the old man a microwave. Oh, there we go. And he also got Berserk, so he can turn uh, Cecil into a food processor. So we're gonna have a nice dinner. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Please, so I, I know that this is a thing in the Final Fantasy 15 fandom, but it needs to be a thing in more of Final Fantasy fandom. I just need more like Final Fantasy themed cooking shows and like cooking videos. <laughs> Please, I need I need another like Final Fantasy themed cookbook. I'm not I'm surprised. Is there one for like FF14? Is that something y'all do? Don't ask me. <laughs> you play 14, right? Yeah. Yeah, but my whole thing is I like to collect the pretty clothes. Okay, okay, that's you do fashion fourteen. Okay, I got you. Yeah, the true end game. Okay, um, there was a boss here. It's elements. Yeah. It, it got microwaved. Uh, four, four monsters in a trench coat did not last long. I only saw one of them. I don't really understand. I feel like I've been cheated out of three extra boss fights. Oh, another yeah. child. More, We're almost more, there. It is a children in babysitting. Yep. This is the lost babysitters club novel. I would, I would actually Absolutely read. Nothing, nothing <laughs> sad happens in this room. I definitely did not cry as a child when all of this happened. You just oh. walk out, nothing bad happens here. Yeah, no, just Cecil goes, nope, <laughs> we're getting yeah. out here for these crushes. Just well, see, like he should have in vanilla. Yeah, that's, see, uh -huh. that, that's why I, I feel that, that Free Enterprise is the objectively better canon because everyone just like has like access to the dash function and they just use it to dash out of like, like sticky situations. And yeah. it's much better overall. Uh, free Enterprise uh, characters, as opposed to the free, uh, the Final Fantasy IV vanilla canon, uh, know how to uh, bob and weave. Mm -hmm. You find it troubling that they went to the lavatory that the king was hiding, and inside of it was a golden apple. Oh, I guess we're going underground now. Uh, yeah, we're going to go check out the Baron basement <laughs> throne. We have yet to find the hook or the magma key. Now, in logic, which we're not really in logic right now because we don't have a Baron key, this couldn't hold our logical underground access regardless because the Odin spot, ooh, first spring. Um, ooh, evil wall. Gonna slow us down uh, in this gotta go fast seed. Uh, Baron the Basin Throne is considered a a boss <laughs> that cannot hold your underground progression. Also, there's just guards <laughs> all swarming through. Has, has, the, has the monarchy just been replaced with like, an, it's, uh, it's a military it's a, junta now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's all it is. We had, Three officers, uh, sorry, three soldiers, an officer, two guards. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, wait, is I the, lost it, track of where, oh no, is this the second this infight? Is, this yes. is the second infight. So, oh, okay, no. so question, 
Yes. Are the monsters in the alt gauntlet here, are they also part of the governmental structure of this Baron? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Uh, uh, we've got a serious, like, fish people problem going on here. It's, it's, look, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're here to, to petition on for the rights of the sanitation workers. It's all, it's all good. Yeah, so it's troubling that... where this fight is occurring because it's not the table I'm used to having like a cleanup problem at. <laughs> yes, yeah, completely separate table. Uh, Dathis is trying to use this assassin dagger to proc the swoon on these. Um, the swoon proc, uh, if you're manipulating it, requires the thing you're hitting to not have RA one. Uh, so being able to slow it, um, ah, he got it. or stop it. But nice. yeah, you can, yeah. Um, I saw him throw out a stop, which can definitely help out in that regard. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting this here. As I was mentioning, though, if you did want this to be in logic, just play with the be unsafe flag, otherwise known as bun safe. Uh, you got to protect your boony friends. Um, and then you could, uh, you could find a hooker mammy here. So if, if death does find a hooker mammy key here, uh, then we know that there's one at Baron Inn or Demist at Maga Sisters. Or the harp. Or twin harp. Or for bull. Oh, yeah. Oh, see. Or for yeah. Bull. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. Allie. We're twenty. We're thirty minutes in, and we haven't done much, have we? <laughs> I was. I was really hoping, like the 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 Baron guards came out swinging so fast and with such high damage that I was really rooting for them for a minute there, just because they never get to take a party out, and uh, they almost oh! never seem like. Oh no! So Dathis, <laughs> Dathis either realized the Baron skip just thinking about it, or someone had told him, and he gets paid off a. Relatively free fight in the Baron basement with a crystal sword. Has a Cecil in his party. Has a second Cecil waiting for him in the Baron Inn. Um, Dathis is about to go burr. By the way. So this is going to be Berserk strats at the oh. end of the game, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, of course. Uh, by the way, Dathis has, has has his face cam up for this, and I get I get to have the pleasure of watching this. You you better believe he he like 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 did like a good like couple of fist pumps when he got that crystal sword. <laughs> I love to hear it. Um, oh good. Oh wonderful. Money. <laughs> we go up and down and up and down. <laughs> Like the Spider-Man meme just played out. Did that Cecil just look at the camera and just be like, why is there another one of me? Basically. Burr. Oh my gosh. And then he's about to be like, oh, all gone that means burr goes slower. Uh, Don't worry, it could be water hag. It's not water hag. So Sand Ruby as another character, but also means that our underground access is either through Twin Harp, Fabul, or the lovely Dean Mist at Maggie Sisters. Uh, have both of them been on the whale? Uh, yes. Yes. Yep. Please, both of you do swag chocobo. I beg uh, of you. Dathis might soon with that crystal sword in hand. Like, oh. uh, Dathis. Anyway, yeah. Sight Marshal. Okay, uh, there it goes. Oh, no, it's fine. It's uh, fine. Sight Marshal's gonna go peek Dean Mist, uh, Mist Cave to see if we have vanilla Dean Mist because I don't think Dathis has checked this yet. We did see the Odin taking a shower. We haven't seen this yet. They are not going to loot this if it's nope. oh, something no. easy. No, bye. Uh, there's an argument to be made to take it if it was a like fight you could easily kill in one swing to get through some more spells, but uh, Dark Elf takes two swings, so. Harp time? Is it harp time, Sai? So, uh, uh, poison Axe, the classic top tier weapon for Cecil. So I do want to point out um, that Poison Axe uh, came from a, a kind of funny location because Dathis took two chests in uh, Cave Bahamut. The two he did not take were a Poison Axe and a Silent Staff. Two decently good weapons and way better than the Ice Arrows that he found. And reset that out of, if I remember right. Uh, yep. All right. I keep foolishly looking over at Dathis' screen going, ah, the fight's over. I, no. Nope. No, it isn't. <laughs> there's more. But wait, there's more for just five easy payments. <laughs> <laughs> of like 100 HP each, you too can fight your way through a through a gauntlet of fish and uh, it's, ah, you know what another good name for this would be? It's the Baron Sushi Buffet. 
Ooh, yes. Oh, and it was served at their table. Yeah. Yeah. It's delightful. It's a spinner restaurant. <laughs> well, the, um, so the, the fact that Dathis is like away from the table makes me think that it's one of those conveyor sushi places. So we had to chase it down because it was the last one of the one he wanted. I like the lightsaber being found over here by Scythe Marshall. Yeah, very nice for Scythe. Uh, Scythe lacked his second weapon for that uh, weapon for that second Cecil. Now has two lightsabers. Not quite as good as a special sword, but very serviceable. And uh, his foo also can microwave things, uh, which is kind of relevant here because the magic defense in Cave Magnus is really high, uh, but Nuke can get through it. But Nuke's only gonna do like two or 3,000 damage. It's not gonna actually be enough to kill. You'll need a few melee swings on top of that. Uh, what are the, what's the HP like in, in Cave Magnus? Uh, between five and 6K, uh, someone who is more v well versed in it can tell me, but for me, it's usually a case of, I don't care how much HP it has. I just know I can't one shot it with Nuke. We're about to get muted, aren't we? Uh, not, uh, yet. not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. We got it. We gotta get through the fight. <laughs> Death I, is now. I know it's coming, but I always forget that the 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 they're about to nuke themselves. Yep. Nuke themselves. Save the time on the fight. Death has got a sand ruby. Um, now we get to watch a fantastic part of this cutscene. Uh, <laughs> Edward slips out of bed uh, and then trips and then runs and now music. All right, in this very brief window that I have, Dathis was trying to uh, see, turn to skip music and discover that either there was already one or board put an invisible wall there to prevent that from happening.
I just want to inform everyone that, like us, Dathis basically just took a drink break in the middle of that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, was just, I was sitting here going, well, time to drink some water because we're getting a double dose of music. Mm. It's just a really long song. Everyone just stay real hydrated. We're going to rename Cave Magnus to the Salt and Pepper Diner. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm trying to remember if there is a key item check. There, there are only boss checks inside of the hook root itself, correct? Yes. Correct. Um, unless D-Mist happens to be there, uh, we will not be seeing the full hook route. Today. D missed it, King Queen. D missed it, King Queen. Oh, you're evil. I love it. Um, you're fitting right on in. Yeah, but we, uh, as you say, we did, uh, we did find our magna key there from the twin harp, that starting twin harp. So if someone had gone right there, they probably would have struggled. But if they got through it, they would have underground access. Um, oh my goodness, that is the starting item. Uh, yeah. So um, our runners now have the world as their oyster. They have underground access. They have access to the moon they have a pan in hand which i imagine is going to be one of the first things they do uh, because between uh the three key items you get between the sheila uh sheila one sheila two sylph cave you're also going to get the fabuld check and while you're down the underground you might as well check your fame arch freebie uh so there's going to be five checks in rather rapid succession i imagine okay fame arch i just have to beg of you please don't just be vanilla rat tail I'm I'm here. This is my this is my first time. Don't be vanilla. Ah, Dathos is gonna go check the Cinderby character. Doesn't matter where you park your, your Enterprise because you can just zoom on over to Kaipo, and then slowly zoom through and not fall into the water. Oh, they're okay. fine. They're awake though. Yeah, no, they don't even need this medicine. And that uh, that fire zoom uh, will dance too. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> it seems like Dathos was Dathos wasn't expecting it either. Cane, take the sand ruby. <laughs> yeah, taking bed. the sand ruby, taking the cane. <gasps> yeah, if you want a zerker party, makes perfect sense. Uh, I don't know what we have in the way of cane weapons aside from the poison axe that Scythe has. <laughs> oh, she warped back to the bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hadn't seen that before. <laughs> Everyone's favorite vampire, Dio, is joining the party. I was fully expecting uh, him to just turn to the left as if he were still in bed, not warped back to the bed. That was unexpected. I wonder if that technically means it spawns a separate NPC at that point. It might. I don't know. We'll find out. There's a lot of weird stuff with characters that are sleeping in this uh, in this wacky flag set. It is Dio, uh, though. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Scythe Marshall has made it underground. Uh, is going to go check the Fame March freebie. I'll take a look at these Fame March bosses. See if we have something like King Queen Eblin or Water Hag or both. Uh, to give us some free checks as well. I'm sorry, I, I, I lost it over the, the overlap between the JoJo references and the actual Nonary Games names. <laughs> <laughs> also, wasn't Vanilla Red Tail, but there was our hook. That's, that's, that, ah, ew. <laughs> I guess that's not, it, the reverse is more ew. Yeah. Uh, I guess it is like it is easy okay, to forget that the rat tail requires the hook. Like, oh, you, it says rat tail. I don't know if you all saw the naming way that's in the uh, like hidden there in that house in uh, in Agrit, but it, he was uh, he was clipping through the wall. Uh oh, favorite room, favorite room. Oh my god! Oh yeah, called one of two. One of two ain't bad. My witch powers are still here. Uh, you need to do a little bit of healing. They'll be fine. Um, as which, long as they don't. Uh, is this the king or the queen? I don't know. As long okay. as they don't poach. As long as they don't poach Eggman, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Eggman cast rewind. Everyone's fine. This was a Sira, according to Demi and Chet, who has faster eyes than I do. Green ore on summon. That is a. I did not know that. We, we all learned something. I never paid that close attention to it. Good on you, Demi. I can't hear the audio. Oh, I see that we've got... Oh, I thought we were getting Dwarf Castle for some odd reason as the first check from Dathis. Yeah, we got five key items, and you're going to see a free fight here in the Fame Arch. So six checks. Uh, Dwarf Castle is kind of low on the priority list. Uh, Ooh, Dathis. Yeah, I couldn't imagine why. Dathis, you forgot <laughs> to turn off flashing. Oh, sorry, y'all. 
Thank you, Dathis. <laughs> Thank you, Dathis. <laughs> Dathis hearing me wagging my finger at him from across the internet. <laughs> People are like, wow, that's really annoying. Oh, no. Uh, we got a Luka Key. That is not super important unless Demist exactly is in the sealed cave because we do have the warp glitch enabled. We have a Palamon party and a Fu, who, if he does not yet have warp, should be getting it soon. Yeah, no, Dathis is not on the call today. Uh, that would be unethical. Um, and also, I don't know if I unsivered you, though. I, I think I we un... Okay. I, I, I did. I did. That's, that's what we call a callback again. <laughs> for, for, for those folks who like continuity. Exactly. I love that the poor bomb shopkeeper is just pacing back and forth like a caged animal. Yeah, just so... Uh... Oh, those are uh, some uh, D-Lunars at the Leviathan spot. That's a little, little nasty. We had some, uh, you know, something like a Dragoon Gauntlet on a Crystal Sword Cecil, though. Probably be fine. Dathus. <laughs> uh, but I am sorry, Trick, that we did not get uh, the Dark Imps in the King Queen spot, so we did not get the Three Card Monty. I mean, I wanted, I wanted, my thing was Alt Gauntlet and Water Hag. That's what I wanted more than anything else. Uh, although, da oh, Dathis is uh, using the state point. I was like, you're not going to take the free fight? Inventory management time, and that's going to do a bit more looting. Hey, have a Soma drop. Headband's pretty nice. Uh, Death is gonna cabin up. Uh, probably gonna take the King Queen. May peek uh, and take that, uh, not peek, but may take that uh, the D Lunar fight just because he does have the equipment to facilitate it. Uh, those D Lunars are gonna be getting hit for most likely quad nines and about 35,000 hit points divided up amongst the two of them. Two swings from the Cecil, the Crystal Cecil each will take them down so long as he can survive the counter viruses, which I think he should be Why fine. did he reset? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I, I was wondering if there was some obvious mis misclick oh, that yang, I missed. Yang, that, that's a wall. Yang. Hey. Yang, that's, that's a wall. Calm down, buddy. Did a small child just bash that man in the face with a pan? Yeah, it bashed him so hard it shoved him into the wall. And then the, the, the sylphs gave a gift spear to that same small child. Yeah, it says, uh, take the spear and leave. Stop hitting our friend. Okay, I was, I'm wondering if we're setting a really good role model for the children who are watching the stream right now. <laughs> Which one are you talking to? <laughs> hmm. It was it was King Queen, um, but that was very funny. Uh, uh, Scythe is now going to go turn in Sheila 1, Sheila 2, as well as get the full defense check finally. So as you predicted, they did both decide to fade the bull with that pen. I'm so really right. It's so nice. I'm being assaulted by guest of the stream, Pixie the Cat. Pixie! And we have Octomam. Uh, not even gonna nuke it. Not even gonna give us the lovely lunch that we deserve. Instead, going to taint it with that virus. I do find it funny that, like, growing up, I thought this was Octo Mom for some reason, and so it wasn't until I started watching these streams that I found out that it was Octo Mammoth. Yeah, yeah, no, we still, we still lovingly uh, refer to it as uh, as Octo Mom sometimes. But yes, Octo Octo Mammoth, Octo Mam. Uh, she gives great hugs. She's got all those limbs. She's also so strong. She can swim through solid rock. Um, Dathis goes, okay, I don't need the Zuka key because I do have a warp glitch. So let's, let's roll the dice here. He's going to see the D-Lunars. Ooh. First crystal from the King of the Bull. Party Rock. Also, I was told there was cat commentary. Was there cat commentary? Did we actually get to hear a cat on, on the mic? <laughs> she decided to try to sharpen her claws on my, uh, on my oh. chair and then leave. Okay. Uh, also, Sheila. Legend Sword and Sheila is nowhere near us, but gave that to us anyway. Uh, so that's required. And then a tower key. So that is nice to find if you want to go back underground and clear out the Tower of Babel, as well as maybe Dwarf Castle while you're there. 
I mean, tower's gonna have two key items, right? Two key items with a tower key in hand. Um, you have the top of the top of lower tower, and then you have the super cannon room. Uh, both will reward a key item. There's also some good uh, encounter chests in there that can give some pretty good stuff if you're on the hunt for, you know, crystal swords, Excals, Avengers. Uh, adamant armors are enabled, so if you want adamant armor. Uh, uh -huh. Also, we got uh, some lunar frog strats. Uh, so these are now uh, lunar frogs. They're not going to be threatening, and we can get up this fight pretty quickly. Because despite being frogs, they still retain all of their weaknesses, so the Cecils are here to... Uh... I can't remember any names of frog dishes. They're 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 frog stomping, I guess. They're frog stomping, uh, making making frog, frog legs. I guess. Frog gigging. There we go. That's frog the correct. Frog gigging. There. That is the correct term. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. I, I just I just want to do like the quest you do in Final Fantasy 15, where you have to go find colorful frogs, and that's it. You just go <laughs> find colorful frogs, and then. And, and then you go talk to Sonya, who's one of the best NPCs in that whole game. Did you just try and what? glitch the D-Looter status? You can't do that! They're undead! Did you? Did you? I have so many questions. <laughs> Save it for the interview. Is a frog? <laughs> like, part of me goes, oh yeah, it's a frog, therefore it's a enemy that I have hit that is <laughs> vulnerable to the boss bit. <laughs> Um, Scythe is going to take some of these encounter chests, try and pull some of that decent loot here out of uh, Lower Babel, see if it pays off. Um, yeah, they are undead and boss, so that definitely did not work. Um, Dathis is through. Uh, we'll see if this crystal sword that he got out of logic from that bare basement spot is going to pay dividends here with something from the D-Lunars. Uh, only if that leads to D-Mist. A key item! A key item, woo! We have a cat guest, but she's being very, very quiet. That's okay. Uh, I, I, I love all of our commentary cats. All of them. Yes, even Morsel. Yeah, I, <laughs> that makes one of us. Um, <laughs> anyway, Scythe found a piece of sharpened Hanzo steel, a lovely Masamune from that encounter chest and is now going to try his luck for another one because we don't have an edge. So that uh, that sword is not going to do much for us right now. I'm glad to see some party divergence. I'm sad that Kitty uh, has departed us in, in all instances of the world. Yep, uh, another safe soul in this party. Rydia is like, I'll just go take a seat on the bench. I get it. Oh, there's more Hanzo Steel, the uh, lesser variety. And I'm Urasame. Okay. Uh, still no edge. Okay, edge. everybody. You, we, we all know how much Hanzo steel there is. Everybody has to go do Tower of Zot. We need all of the... Uh, we need every party member we can find. Get me an edge. No one's going to do... No one's going to do this for me. I mean, we, we've got... Uh, we got Earth, so like Very well could be a, an edge at the top of Tower of Zot. Demarine, that is a bold-faced lie, and I can't believe you would say that in Twitch chat. Did Demarine badmouth my my beautiful little girl? <laughs> well, no, no, not not the radio part. The fact that oh, saying okay. Morsel Morsel's been a perfect angel that is just straight blasphemy, and he is not the best cat in the house by far. Oh, so who is our first? Oh, hey, bonus hey. round, bonus round, yeah. D dot missed, um, and I didn't get a chance to call it out because I was busy being incredulous over Demarine. Um, Whenever you see this uh, boss and he dances behind the uh, the wall, uh, I've got to go fast. He, he does a, some interesting movement. Uh, hopefully we'll see Scythe get there uh, sooner rather than later, because if anybody missed it, I don't want to spoil it, because it's uh, beyond it's... description. Yeah, I was trying to see it, and I didn't... I couldn't tell. Something happened. Yeah, yeah. It uh, It's pretty special. Um... But we'll, we'll get back there soon. Um, but uh, <laughs> Death is running into the Crystal Sword's worst enemy, a boss resistant to holy damage. <laughs> oh, right, because this is a Dark Knight Cecil boss, and so it's it's presumably weak to dark. Yep, it's weak to dark, and because coding reasons, 
Um, that dark game just clipped into the wall. Anyway, vanilla dark games. Um, it's weak to darkness. <laughs> and therefore, it's, um, it's resistant to holy. That was the sentence I was trying to say. The dark games confuse me. These uh, NPCs need to stop enabling no clip. No. <laughs> <laughs> They go wherever. Like, hey, he, he's just like, and that one on the care. ranch is they're just chilling. You never go like, in this room. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and the Fusoya has come out of the uh, the mist to find a Bahamut here. And hey, look. <laughs> oh no! His uh, his his counterpart, the red Fusoya to the blue Fusoya, they have joined forces and have now become purple Fusoya. I feel like the average age of this party is about to go up considerably. I mean, th there's an actual question about how old is Fusoya. Uh... Because if he's uh, Kluya's older brother, that raises so, so, a lot of questions. So, so you know how when you sell, or you go to buy, like, 99 admin armors in Free Enterprise, and it says too much GP? Yes. And it's just too much age. Too much age. <laughs> well, it was good to see the... the the Bahamut here. It was wonderful to see the Keep King of Dragons. I think we're going to be saying goodbye very quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Old enough to know better than to tell people. <laughs> I mean, uh, I just, I have, I, look, look, I may or may not have a very sad theory that Cecil's going to outlive everybody. <laughs> yeah. 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 I see that we have leg day, but leg day is definitely very far stage, right? Yeah, and arm Ooh. day on the right. <laughs> arm day on, on Dathis' screen was just zooming around. I, I, I like how Rubicon just does not care about, you know, no. air. Like, he, so, he's dancing on air. Ah, he's dancing uh -huh. on air. But also, like, you realize that he's the one that put the pitfall there because he knew he would never fall into it if he could just hover. He's really good. Did, He's did. really good at Link to the Past randomizer. He can just hover. Uh, also, Luca. Uh, Luca, Luca, please. Yeah, Luca, please. please. <laughs> Luca, Luca, get down from there. Uh, yes. Required pass. Uh, we also got a spoon from the warp glitch. Um, no sign of Eddie, so not a big deal. But we have seen Demist, so we're going to get a check there. Uh, as it stands, we are now just short a rat tail and the adamant rock for us to have our go mode Dathis does not yet have the legend sword but we'll be getting it soon because it is from sheila one the other thing that i had not ever realized about rubicant before is that rubicant cannot turn much like zoolander yeah but he cannot yeah. turn in any direction <laughs> sprite limitations Smoke bomb. <laughs> Long distance smoke bomb. <laughs> uh, Fusoya seems to be trapped by the sylphs. Uh, now one of them's in the wall. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Uh, just don't. Whatever you do, Fu, just don't accept the burrito, and everything will be fine. Oh no, not the fave burrito. Not the fave burrito. Fu, don't look them in the eye. They can smell fear. Yep. Whatever you do, don't tell them your name. We're fine. Uh, okay, don't give so them your pronouns. <laughs> my pronouns now. <laughs> one of my favorite Twitter posts of all time. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, Scythe has finished the uh, lower babble. Um, is going to get the item from the super cannon room here. We'll see if we have value in the tower key. Oh no. Uh, we have an adamant armor from the tower key. Also a man on the <laughs> enterprise who has trouble with personal space. He just wants a hug. He just wants a hug. I mean... Hey, hey, hey. Scarlet, hey, Scarlet. What, what, what? I'm gonna show you my pink tail. <laughs> no! Don't let him have the you VC time out for that one. What the heck? <laughs> now, did you say somebody had an adamant? Is that what I heard someone say? No, the adamant armor from the pink tail. That'll never be me. <laughs> I was trying to be distressing, not too uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a difference. <laughs> well, it's been fun, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I had a good run. I mean, if you're, you're going to go out, go on out and joke like that, really. 
Just, just, you know, just, just salt the earth behind you. <laughs> All right, so we've got Dathos uh, relitigating the battle with Octomom. It's over. Yeah, it's done. Well, there we go. <laughs> yes, you did. Right. You killed it. We're all I... we're, we've all been muted, but by a different, <laughs> very different force. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Dathos gets his party rock. He's gonna get his legend. Uh, got his legend sword before going into that fight. Um, so he had set a save outside of the Tower of Babel. We'll not be using that because he did get a required item from here today. I imagine, unless he wants to go Moon, he's going to go Zot here. Unless he wants to go back down to that tower. There we go. It just zooms in and like leaps behind the throne. <laughs> I missed the hand walk as well, so I'm looking forward to catching that the second time. Yeah, you were a little distracted by... Uh, by leg not obeying the laws of physics. It's some good leg if you can fly like that. Oh, okay, let's see. Corpse in the middle of town. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. What's funny is I got her trapped up in that upper square uh, earlier this week. Oh. <laughs> now the giant, he's trying to catch her. Ah, you got her. Uh, got her. <laughs> good job. Good, good game. Good game. I don't remember that scene from Paranormal Activity. Hey, more Hanzo Steel. <laughs> and, and okay, at this no point, edge. I am genuinely rooting for an edge. <laughs> Rydia's mom just, uh... Oh, hey, third Cecil. Okay, how are we doing on Cecil's oh. weapons at this point? Oh. oh, oh. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> what was in the package? <laughs> it's uh, Golbez's sprite when he's passed out. Yep, that Aww. was a passed out goal, Bess. <laughs> back, you know, after we kicked his butt, like, back in week one. Yep, yep. Yum. All right. Oh, we like, haven't here. seen a goal, Bess, or a Val yet, have we? We have not. We have also not seen our Blarg. Good old Wyvern friend, though. Oh, right. that's a good sprite color. Trade out one of your, trade out one of your existing uh, Cecils. Get that nice blue. Yeah, uh, probably gonna go for the triple, uh, triple Cecil here. <laughs> you know, you got a light sword, you got a crystal sword. Yeah, you got some good, good, uh, good equipment. Uh, Are they going to get an Excalibur out of, um, the We forge? have Supersmith on, so not an Excal, but could be a Lightbringer, could be the Excalipur, um, otherwise known as the Caliburn, uh, could be a Piggy Stick, Gigant Axe. There's plenty of stuff that Cecil can use to good effect there. Uh, but Dathus, I'm like, oh, Dathus, hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, zoom. Dathus is doing this a pretty much for the character check. Dathus. Oh, is it treasury time? It's a treasury time. Maybe Dathus just wanted oh. to have the Cecil on standby, just in case. Um, it looks like treasury time. All right. I'm waiting for him to actually get in there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She ran away. <laughs> She can block your path. Be careful where you talk to her. Oh no! Oh, okay, we're uh, safe. Uh, we're safe. All right. So now we get to we get to play Zaphis. What the? She, she's oh. blocking the path. Oh she's no! She's blocking the path. I love it. <laughs> yep. You should gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. Come on, Zaphis. You can do this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get her in the corner. There you go. <laughs> we're safe. All right. Now we can play the thing. Great. That's treasury! <laughs> inventory boss. Uh -oh. Inventory uh -oh. boss, very good. Today's Rate That Treasury has been brought to you by the Inventory Boss. Oh, you missed one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the Inventory Boss is sponsored. <laughs> but, oh, what's the name of that big storage company? I know there's pods. What, what are other like storage companies? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. Also, another power shirt for that was like three Leviathan orbs. What the? Heck? I was like, look, it's it's just being perfectly clear that you shouldn't have gotten rid of my darling girl, Rydia. Uh, that was the Leviathan out of ten, as far as I'm concerned. Mhm. Mm that was a summoner percent out of ten. Uh, good things in there. 
for the party that we do have, a Stardust Rod for Foo, uh, as well as that power shirt. Um, there's a heroin robe if we're hanging out of that horn. <laughs> party time. Oh, wow. It truly is the party rock. All right, so I have to be careful. Can you get in? Oh, yeah, that's actually a relatively tough door. The overall power of this party is sort of overwhelming. That's a lot of foos. That's a lot of Cecils. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when C maybe is very kind to you. Um, you end up with a lot of a lot of power overwhelming. Uh, but we have a defense sword, so for that third Cecil that you have on standby, which I just have to assume it was a case of, all right, I'm going to get this ready in case I come across a weapon for him. Um, you now have a light sword, a defense sword, and a crystal sword. That's plenty good to have three Cecils if you want. Oh, we're just going to power overwhelming. The anchoring situation is just beat up Zeromus until Zeromus no longer beats. Yeah, one or, one or both of them does have a crystal ring, uh, not crystal ring, a cursed ring um, that was found in the early game. Um, so we'll see if that ever comes to play. You can slap it on your second foo, um, and he can still hit pretty hard with his with his nukes if you want him to, um, while just swinging away with your zerkers. Uh, now, both runners zooming here through Towers Out. Dathis is looking for that flame dog chest. Dathis is having fun. I think Dathis is just now playing the game of uh, how smoothly can I move and make it into these really, really tight hallways. Oh, goodness. He's, in he's discovered multi Cecil drifting. <laughs> Monsters. Monsters. Oh, flame dog, that is not going to be good enough. I'm sorry, my friend. It was yeah. noble. An attempt was made. An hourglass two was obtained. Hey, look, it's some King Ryu fights or something. Yeah, not the worst in the world. Uh, we have seen all of our. Well, we haven't seen dolls. Uh, dolls is the only hourglassable boss still in the pool. Um, but we do have a turtle, or as we have would say, simultaneous turtle fights. Yeah, as Imper would say. You know, I'm impressed with as open a seed as we have since we got Magnus, Ma Magma Key and Darkness Crystal basically right away. Getting them to converge like this is wild. Yeah, and honestly, like, both our runners really haven't done much different from the other. Scythe Marshall has done the Tower of Babel, uh, the lower tower, and Dathis has done the d -Liners. That's really the main difference here. Oh, there's our edge. Oh, my, my edge lord boy. He's such an edgy boy. Oh, Hamid, uh, you okay? Oh, okay. Well, it's a, it's a new speedrun clip. Uh, speedrunners take notes. You can just clip through that wall right there. Uh, and also that one apparently just by edge's trajectory. Hey, another small child. We have another porum. Uh, th this is just the the tower of uh, cry meta. <laughs> Oh, very true. Great. Maybe next week. We'll find out after this race. Make sure you stay, stay and watch the wheel turn. I'm surprised by the duration of this decision here. Yeah. Getting rid of the second foo makes perfect sense to me. Um, <clears throat> especially for Scythe Marshall. Um, not taking the edge, even though you had... I think Scythe has two Mosmonets to this point, so that's interesting. But yeah. two Cecil's, two foos, that's a lot of power regardless. Uh, taking an edge, really, what it's going to do for you is eh, I can now steal some stuff and maybe swing pretty hard, but if you want to hang on to this forum just to be your anchor and go double through double Cecil, that's going to be just fine. Yeah, I did notice that that was a level 10 small child, and I was yeah, like, hey, oh, that child gets to be asleep. It's a perfect boss for that hourglass that we found. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that food is dead at MP. Final Fantasy IV, not one of those mean games where if you, you try to cast when you have no MP, you just die. Tell it. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, okay, well, uh, a LARP called Dying Kingdom. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, that's just another wacky flag called the Telemaneuver. 
because in this game, if you did have MP for Meteo, Ella does die. So. Wait, can Tella survive? Um, I was talking about just the story and how the fact. Oh, that, okay. How the fact he can't cast Meteo is because he used all his strength, and that's what killed. That's why the wacky flag called the telemaneuver uh, allows you, makes you use your HP instead of your MP to cast spells. Ah, uh, that could also just be called Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah, exactly. Flinch. Hey! We are now one item away from no mode. We just need to figure out where this rat tail is. Uh, oh, really rude rat tail spots are gone. Let's go moon! Scythe Marshall has the spoon in hand, so I imagine he's done Dwarf Castle because that's where the pass was at, yes? Uh, yes. So, Scythe Marshall is just that rat tail away from go mode. Um, Ephes equally as close to go mode um, as the hook in hand because that was in the Fame March freebie. Was Dathis the only one to do the, the free Baron? Uh, yes. Okay. Scythe, Scythe uh, has not figured that out. Um, which, considering I had to have someone in my chat tell me, don't blame him. Dathis is just, uh, Yes. Uh, hold on. Yep. Wait a minute. Yep. No. Yep. Incorrect. Yep. That's not how anything works. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. That was a secret passage to the wall that you just took there. Uh, not you, Dathis. I was talking about Kapal, but okay. Uh, also, this is a terror to try and get out of if, um... Uh, Nicole hides behind the dwarves in the fire. Also, that Perseus bow is not useful. We haven't found a Rosa yet. There's a Perseus bow? I don't think I ever see that item. I do. That's, I've been seeing that a lot recently. <laughs> yeah, which one is the shopkeeper? Now we're playing three card Monty. All right. Uh, and we're out of here. Now we just, uh, the special has the pass, just needs the rat tail. We're just out of, uh, we're, we're onto the moon now, aren't we? Uh, well, oh, Marshall, gotta be, right? Yeah, Scythe Marshall can still do the, uh, D-Lunars, um, but we know that that does not lead to anything of value. Uh, which I suppose only Rosa. Sorry, Scythe. He was like, oh, darn. <laughs> um... Where Stathis is going to go up here and get the pink tail for value, which will be uh, able to turn into an adamant armor, but nothing really else of value. Um, yeah, we do actually, both runners have the hook and the pink tail. Uh, uh, no, uh, Dathis will get the pink tail upon leaving after doing this. Um, oh, right. Dathis does have the Luka key and Scythe does have the pass. Um, the main, the only difference here is that Scythe has the pink tail and Dathis doesn't have it. Oh, Scythe! Oh, checking the shop, presumably. Shop? Me? I doubt he checks the character, but yeah, shop at least. Go Look to the infirmary. Tyrants? Go to the infirmary. Please, please, go to go to the most chaotic room. Whoever finishes first, if we have enough time, I'm going to ask them any envy to go to the infirmary if they, uh, if they don't show it off. Okay, well, they're trapped. Forever. <laughs> Coffins are nice. Oh no, those those shopkeepers can get out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Uh, no. Rip, oh, okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. They, they, they zoom in. They zoom in. You know, I've heard of The Walking Dead. This is not a kind of dead I'm familiar with. Well, they're only mostly dead, which isn't the same as all dead. Oh, okay. Because when you're mostly dead, it means you're partially alive. Oh, hi, Rydia. Hey! Dancing with, dancing yeah. with a sparkle. That could be our wyvern. It's a wyvern or our plague at this point. Please be the plague. I want the wyvern to be someplace rude and not skipped.
More power shirts. More power shirt. Okay, stop power shirt. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. So, Scythe exited out. Did, did he grab something while he was down there that was... Uh, um, thing that I missed? Sirens from the shop, I think? Oh, right. Gonna go get that, uh, the admin armor. Presumably slap that on a Cecil. Maybe a foo if he just really wants a, uh, a super... Oops, oh, me. no. <laughs> Super power okay. machine. The personal space involved here is getting <laughs> weird. He's just look, look, look. He's Those cold. Are really two situation. He's cold, and Fu's beard is warm. Oh, if you're cold, they're cold. Allow them into your beard. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I'm hoping it's someone clipped into a wall. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be that! <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> Do you? Well, Scythe Marshall seems to be headed uh, to the last place not dominated by capitalism. It was, it, it was distracting, yes. It was. I was looking at it very closely. Yes. Space! Yes. Um, that's gonna go say hi to Luge. It, 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 it's, it, it's fun to note that we're an hour 15 in, and you can already tell that these runners have become way more comfortable with the controls. Yeah. <laughs> Though that, 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 that hallway there that looked really smooth, that's a really easy hallway to navigate because of how SNES prioritizes inputs. It's very easy to do that and make it look really cool. Oh. Zumagante. Love it. Absolutely love it. I am not used to seeing Dr. Luggage survive a nuke to the face. Uh, it's been a while since I saw him in a lunar, wait, lunar spot. Oh, but he talks though, huh? Yeah, cutscene boss. Yep. Dathus has found the vanilla. Dathus is very happy. He's doing a dance, a happy dance. Yep, yep, yep. He's looking right at me. <laughs> I know, I know what's going on, Dathus. When you rewatch this, I know that's exactly what you were doing. I love that one of the first races I saw had like dark imps at Wyvern, and they wiped the party. I think multiple times because. There, they, there's some place that they can be on the moon that is just very, very fast. Uh, Wyvern location is really bad. They're, they're fast. They're very punchy. It's a vomit spot. They're just punchy. Um, that's one thing where multi-unit fights like that, if you don't have a way of getting rid of them quickly, if it's a very punchy spot, it can go south really quickly. Here, though, it's fine. We're done. Uh, we're getting out of here. Deathus is going to be on route to get his pink tail. While Scythe Marshall is here to take out the... Uh, Luge. And I don't know if he equipped the Advent Armor, but it looks like he, if he has, he's found out that for whatever reason, uh, Poison just bypasses the Advent Armor. Don't know Perfect why. Perfect game, no mistakes, wonderful. I found that out the other day, I was like, what happened? Why did I just get poisoned? Because I cast Venom on Golbez to avoid something on the rest of my party, and I was like, how did you get poisoned? <laughs> I have multiple questions. And then they were answered by looking it up. Oh, oh like, wow! Like, there we go. Um, so that is a go mode for side marshal. Uh, cave value paying off. Don't need to go into the rest of the moon. Oh my goodness! I'm so worried that Dathis is going to be like, no, no, Doctor Luggage. Don't be tempted. That that guy on the airship is still real friendly. Yep, yep. See previous artwork. Death is going moon. Not even gonna bother grabbing the admin armor. Probably just gonna wait till he gets the rat tail. He's got a crystal sword. He doesn't care. I really had underestimated how difficult it would be to dismount the whale.
uh, grinding. Yeah, got the go mode, has two hourglasses. Let's go ahead and uh, take down a small subset of the King Ryu population in Cape Bahamut. Um, hourglass one. Don't forget to shoot that small child in the face with a nuclear weapon. Or just hit them with a holy sword and let them take a nap. Oh, they caught a cold. It's just a cold. It's Everyone, cold. they're going to be fine. Yep. Just, they just need to rest up, drink lots of water, and they'll be fine. See, they're, they're, she's already doing the first half of that. She's taking the nap she needs. Yeah, these are, these are great babysitters, allowing for a nap time for the small child. Just ignore how she got the cold. Just ignore that part. Um, now, what's what's interesting here is Dathis has that crystal sword advantage that he got from uh, cheating cheating his way into uh, Baron Castle. Uh, we now know that that Baron Key is here on the moon somewhere. So that crystal sword was heavily buried and Dathis uh, did, did a little sneaky sneak. Dathis wisely hitting Cade value, probably meaning we will never see any of the other moon bosses. Yeah, this makes perfect sense. You're one key item away from go mode. Um, so hit K value, hope it's here. If not, you probably go top down um, just to save yourself some time because you have the pass in hand because it is required. Uh, this makes perfect sense and it's going to pay off. Uh, he's going to get the rat tail and be good to go. We'll see what he does to try and get some levels. Um, he didn't visit uh, Cave Eblin to get any of those sirens. Um, but with an admin armor, crystal sword, Cecil, May not need to. I mean, no way. They don't. I'm trying to, to do what limited math I remember of, of of how bad Z can be. 2400 damage is the highest of high rolls. Um, and with an adamant armor on, you're rarely going to get hit for that. So, like, if you're planning for worst case scenario, make sure your Cecil with an adamant armor crystal sword has 2400 HP. Otherwise, you can probably shoot for 2,000 and be safe. Oh my goodness. This is going to be very close. All of this going fast. And I love the second Dr. Lude just because I'm not actually certain what that pose is. Yeah, I don't know. He's like hunched over. He really needs to go see a chiropractor. Uh, the doctor needs to see a doctor. Um, and while Scythe Marshall is going to be en route to trade in the rat tail and head over to Zeromas, uh, we do have a first place finisher in this race because there are more than just these two. It is a group race. Uh, Xenocat has finished in first place with a time of one hour, 19 minutes and 20 seconds uh, just a couple minutes ago. So GG's to Xenocat. We'll see if one of these two runners can snag that second place finish. Hi, Xenocat. Also, uh, MTI, yes, this is for four objectives. It's that time. Yes. Miles Scythe is getting inventoried up, geared up, ready for this Rumus fight. Has 2800 HP on both of his Cecil. It's plenty. Still think he only has those light swords, but that's not too bad. Those are perfectly valid weapons that can kill Z in a hurry, especially when you've got two Foos flanking them with Duke. Um, so he'll shortly be getting his crystal on his way to his Romus. Dathis had not bothered to wake up his hovercraft, admiring the dancing fire. Uh, it's hypnotizing, isn't it, Dathis? Oh, heck so. Ah, uh, the, 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 the... Oh, no, I've forgotten the name of, of, of that, that poor young woman. Anna? Thank you. Anna being kind and standing in her proper spot just in time. Uh, <laughs> for yeah. her cue. Find the person to get the pass to. Good job. <laughs> Good luck.
Delightful ratings. Uh, also, uh, oh wow, we gotta ask quick, don't we? Yeah, and uh, it's your first time on comms, so the floor is yours. You know how to ask it, right? Okay, yeah, I've gotta gotta get in character. Okay, okay, it is who butts? Wait, no, it's all right. Whose butt are we going to kick tonight? Perfect. Both of those were absolutely perfect. Either one would have stood on its own. Um, yeah, it's time to see, uh, Bud is a little bit out of place, uh, he's joining in on the dance party, um, so he is a little bit stage right of where he's supposed to be, um, but we're gonna find out, and, uh, hopefully it's not as cute as last week, because I felt real bad after that race. Oh, if it's a Sonic character of any fashion, I'm going to just absolutely just have, uh, no. I'm trying to think of any other speedster. I would accept uh, uh, Rex Racer. That'd be good. Mm. Zero miss, yeah. For 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 sprites that are are likely not in the pool, um, Speedy Gonzalez would be good. All right. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, no. Um, I need your, your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Herman Noose. Are you fast enough to dodge a bullet? <laughs> Is this from the SNES Terminator game? Oh. if you want it to live yeah uh i'm gonna i'm gonna modify my statement earlier as i need uh, i need your clothes your boots and your crystal sword <laughs> never 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 give up the crystal sword or rather in a sense i guess they're repeatedly giving him the crystal sword i always forget exactly how potent uh our our beautiful lunar mage is when i saw a nearly nine thousand out of that nuke Oh yeah, the Stardust Rod on Fu uh, really makes up for what is normally a lack of oomph in the late game spells for him. Uh, he can hit pretty hard. Now I know in some Final Fantasies the number of times that a spell has been reflected has like an impact on its its power. Uh, do reflected skip spells just do the same spell power as the initial caster? If you asked me a year ago, I would say it did more. If you ask me now that I know the right answer, uh, no, they do not do extra damage. No. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, my favorite rating. <laughs> it's been lovely having you on commentary trick. Uh, this was an absolute delight. Uh, and Scala, when we do get to the interview, uh, if I could request, I was hoping both runners wouldn't be finishing so close together. I do want to see if one of them will show us the... Uh, the infirmary. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Okay. Okay. -do. I wonder if anything happens to that secret dancer uh, that is in one of the towns. I don't know. Uh, I assume I do, they're just a cutscene. I do want to point out, because um, neither runner actually shut it off way early on. Uh, after the Hobbs fight, uh, there's some invisible NPCs up there on the mountain. But if you talk to them, uh, one of them will crash your game, and the other will teleport you to Zot. 
Don't ask me why. Which, when you funny. told me this, I thought that was a sequence break. Well, I mean, technically, but I thought that was very bad, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, if you had uh, access to an early Earth Crystal, it could save you, you know, a little bit of time. Uh, but we already got rocks over here on Scythe Marshall's side, so we should be getting a Crack Boom and Dissolve very shortly. Oh, those Cecils. They're just like a blender. Yep. No Crystal Sword, no problem. There it is. And Scythe Marshall has finished with a time of 1 hour, 28 minutes, and 50 seconds in 4th place. Uh, because we did have a 3rd place finisher in Engi Dave, 126.53. Uh, GG's to Scythe Marshall, our 1st place finisher here on the restream today. We'll see if we can get him in for an interview. Every time I'm looking at this Terminanus sprite, I keep hearing the sound effects from the old game. <laughs> hey, so special GG's. Hello, GG's. Thank you. Um, so, first of all, um, I lost track of your bomb count about two minutes in. Um, How did you feel about navigating through this seat? Uh, I relied heavily on my slow down button. Yeah, the Y button is uh, is quite the help in this one. Yeah, um, I was very, very thankful that it worked. Yeah, uh, so some of those uh, doors are just incredibly hard to get into unless you can slow down and get the precision. Uh, but overall, aside from that, this flag set fairly straightforward. The wacky flag has no real impact on the actual gameplay. With one small exception that Daphne has pointed uh, found, but you did not, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, so what did you think of the seed itself and just how things were laid out for you? Oh, it wasn't bad. Um, the objectives, whatever, there are a bunch of terminal key items you're looking for. Um, but also, uh, you didn't really get a lot to start with. And then I got the pan and so, okay, let's try to do ordeals early. Um, and then I don't remember what I got from ordeals. I got something. Um, and then from there, uh, I... darkness crystal. Yes, darkness crystal somewhere. It was that was from Mordios. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So, I figured from there it was like, okay, let's, um, let, let's go to the moon. Hopefully, I get someone good, and I got Boo, and then okay, well, I can take pretty much anything now. So it was just trying to um, clump together key item checks wherever I could. Yeah, uh, you did really well. Um, you flesh it out. Uh, the thing that you didn't um, you didn't run across, which Daphis did, which gave him a bit of an early advantage, but also uh, made him do a few extra checks, um, was that he got a crystal sword from the Odin spot uh, because the Baron guards move away from the button. Ah, interesting. So one thing, I think I had seen that in, like, I, I think I had watched Invenerable play this wacky flag. Mm -hmm. I thought there was something like, oh, the Baron Guards move. Yeah. But I hadn't, um, I hadn't bothered to double check. Uh, yeah. And and then I remember there there are other things that where there is soft lock protection. So, mm -hmm. or or like, you know, cheat. So the rose so, is way on the right on Death's screen. It's very funny. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, he ended up pretty far left on mine afterwards. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, but yeah, I I think it's kind of interesting how the Baron, like the the guards in front of the Baron Castle, are an exception to the to the other um, like cheese proof areas. Yeah, because yeah. I, I had the same thought because I knew stuff like uh, Dark Elf won't move out of the way to get the item, um, and so I was like, yeah, no, it's fine. They're not going to move. And then I went there and they moved, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Uh, so so that was delightful. Uh, you know, that Crystal Sword uh, helped him get through the, the D Lunars. Uh, he still did the Lunar Frog Strats, which um, he has finished now with a time of 1 hour, 30 minutes, and 11 seconds. I'd say that D Lunar fight was probably the majority of that difference there. And he came in fifth place, so just behind you. Uh, both very, very well run. Uh, I've been hogging the mic, and I have a lovely co commentator who it's her first time on the mic. Did you have any questions for Scythe's trip? Um, I, I kind of 
kind of didn't. It was a really one well run race. Uh, I was uh, I was actually just counting up everybody's key items, going like, "Wow, we did a really high complete percent actually, um, compared to what I've been watching lately." Uh, like my weird question is, is like, this is still only about an hour and a half. Like, is running with this flag really tiring, or because you have to be so much more like paying attention to your movements, or is this kind of uh, would you consider running this as a way of practicing uh, going through this game? <laughs> that, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I hadn't, I haven't thought about that before. I don't think I would play this flag set to practice uh, other, like I, I wouldn't throw the wacky flag on to practice other flag sets mm. because it, uh, like you said, I think it is pretty intensive to to be constantly thinking about your movement um I, I i was i was trying to multitask the routing and the um the movement and like i couldn't <laughs> so a lot of this a lot of this was was sort of brain dead okay i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna press the the y button a lot <laughs> just to just to get myself through the 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 movement sections as as quickly as possible. I was I was happy. I had this fear, feeling of dread as I was running up to the the black chocobo forest, mm -hmm. and then I got the chocobo almost immediately. So oh I yeah, okay with that. you move so much faster than they do. It's fine. They actually don't speed up at all. Um, there's a lot of NPCs like that that actually don't go any faster, like the the hummingway shop. Um, yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, this is kind of this is kind of boring. Yeah, uh, Daphnis is showing us some fun things. She showed us the the dancer in Baron. Um, oh, and is going to Kaipo now, I think. Going to going to Kaipo. Um, <laughs> oh no, he has the package. Oh, did you ask him to come look at uh, Kaipomus? Well, he's got to go through this because he has the Cecil set up. <laughs> Golbez, Golbez, beat Golbez. Oh no, if it's if it's Golbez, Daphnis, you have to just bounce. Um, yeah, uh, we should probably get him in here, so... <laughs> oh no, didn't even reset out before the boss. It's fine. Um, yeah, uh, huge GG's. Um, we'll spin the wheel, wheel here in a bit to see what the next wacky, uh, wacky flag set is going to be for next week. Um, but have, have you done many wacky races or wacky challenges, and are you looking forward to any particular ones? Also, I asked him to come do this. You, you need to see this if you haven't seen it yet, Sai. <laughs> oh, good. Um, I was going to ask if Daphis was doing this impromptu. Oh. 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 What, what's going on? What the? Is this? No. GG Daphis, by the way. No. Wow. Can you get it? <laughs> No, never again. <laughs> oh, this place. Oh, again. no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know Scala got a good got a good look, but I just didn't stop laughing. I was <laughs> crying at some parts. <laughs> oh, uh, man, this is a mess. <laughs> no, it's a it, 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 it. <laughs> Now, the worst thing is trying to get out of here. <laughs> no, that's, oh, yeah. that's oh, how you get out. You're trapped. No. <laughs> I came in here looking for the, the loot and I was like, oh no, this was a mistake. <laughs> this was an absolute mistake. Um, but GG's, GG's Dathis, um, uh, before um, before we move on to you, uh, was, did anybody else on the mic have any questions for Seth? That sounds like a no. <laughs> that, that really does sound like a no. <laughs> All right. Um, Yeah. Oh, no worries. This was this was fun. It, it went better than expected, I think. Hopefully, Dathis can say the same. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you both so much. That was a ton of fun. Uh, Dathis, did you already know that Baron was accessible, or did you think about it and stumble across it? Would you believe my bad pathing? <laughs> did you just like run into the castle and go, "Wait a minute"? Uh, yeah, I walked in and was like, "Wait, they're moving. Hold on a second. <laughs> I can access this now." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that is fantastic. Someone told me they were like, um, it was Dijon. She was like, hey, can you get into Baron Castle? She was just asking, and I was like, I don't think so. Oh, oh, yes, I can. 
Uh, oh, fast foul. Oh, I foul. I, zoom. Yeah, uh, crystal sword go. Yeah, with that, that nice crystal sword. Real smooth. That, 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 uh. <laughs> that nice crystal sword you found uh, doing some work there. I, um, yeah, I, I said bear and I'm like, okay, there's nothing up here. Okay, there's a Cecil. Cool. You get to just join. Um. Uh, and then I was like, okay, there's nothing here. Let's see, let's see what's downstairs. Oh, hey, a crystal sword. Okay, so this is a complete womp before even going underground or anything like that. Yeah, uh, so there is a, another point in the race that I, I wanted to call attention to. When you went to go do Tower Key and you saw the Dark Imps, you just kind of turned your food to look at the camera Was this and did a little dance. Were you excited for the vanilla? I was excited for the vanilla. It was also a no, get me out. This shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, gosh! <laughs> Oh, I love watching. Them, I love watching them just snap from one spot to the other. The that, one that may the be one the that, best part of this flag. The one that threw me off the most was the Sandry character because I didn't expect Kane to just poof back to the bed. Yeah, get back to bed. It was the same thing with Yang, who's right beside it. Just I was like, fuck, get back into bed. <laughs> you don't leave that place. <laughs> the dancer just. Oh my gosh, this is. This is so silly. Um, I, this, is, this has been a delight. Was, um. But yeah, uh, overall, pretty straightforward seed. This one, unlike the last two weeks, didn't affect the gameplay at all, uh, aside from the barren skip and then just the pure wackiness. Uh, had you seen the fact that Kukul's, uh snooze bubble also moved around? No, I did not. There's also some time in um, in Mist. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back to my VOD and look, but I think I saw the sparkle is actually somewhere in the background because I saw something else moving. Oh, like I'm yeah. 90% sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's there, yeah. Also, it's Daphnis, uh, for, for, for fun, wacky things, can you please show us the Silvera dancers and then Cafe Howdy? Yes. Yes, I completely forgot about checking the Silvera dancers after seeing this. I just got like that, that snap. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I, was, I was really hoping very early in the seed, it looked like we had like an entirely children and a Cecil like as their... Uh, their, oh my gosh, now I can't even remember, their babysitter, basically. And I was really hoping for an all children and, well, childlike people run. Uh, but this ended up being an incredibly powerful party. Uh, like, how did you feel like that when you saw that first foo? Uh, did you, were you worried before then? Or was it just, there were so many more characters to check that it didn't really register? No. So the thing is, is you've got you've got Pal uh, you've got Paladin Porum. They can carry you through early <laughs> mid game. Also, oh, okay. this dancing, this oh, this is a lot. <laughs> this is this is more entertaining than I expected it to be. But all right, there's a um, there's a, I, I also have one more request before you go down to Cafe Howdy. It's right next to the magma keyhole. Uh, if you go to Agart, you can see Naming Way like clipping into the side yeah, of the I, house. I, I saw that too. I was like, "Naming, what are you doing? Go, Wait, just, get out, go just, back to your home." You're sure. One of the dancers is just in the shop back there, like just yep. dancing through the roof of the yep. shop. I mean, and the fact that I had to get out of the dancers. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> back, to the, back to the characters. Uh, so Cecil with the, I had a lightsaber and I had Palimporum. This is basically like you have a white mage, you have a a powerful black mage, and you have. Cecil, congratulations, you have, yep, there's something through the seat. Uh, you have, like, you <laughs> see, maybe my head at the top. <laughs> we're we're, wait, we're waiting have... for it to come up on, on our end. Oh. Hello. <laughs> He's just outside the back, just. <laughs> but just the Muni cannot be contained. No, it cannot. Um, I can, however, buy NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> um. And, and speaking of being contained by NPCs, uh, the I can't remember if it was you or Scythe Marshall that got uh, the the treasury girl blocked your path. Yeah, I it was... did. that was me. <laughs> I, I, I had that happen. And I'm just like, yeah, because I was thinking, of course I'd find this. <laughs> right before that, I was like, oh, you need to be careful with her. She could block your path, and then it looked like she was out of the way, but she was still occupying that space. And we we're like, oh, yeah. you're fine. And then you start walking. And I was like, oh no, he's not fine. Never mind. <laughs> no, I was just like, nope, sorry. Uh, but yeah, as I said, the character selection was super good. Once I saw I had Forum and uh, Cecil, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a slow but very steady and easy and decent oversee. Uh, and then it was just like, oh my god, please talk. <laughs> uh, then it was, um, I found Palam on, on top of Hobbs and I'm like, well, the overworld's done. Here's twin magic, the most overpowered 
beat in limbo. <laughs> also, uh, Scala, I don't think you ever yes. updated the runner command. Oh, did I? Oh no, I didn't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know what it is? I copied it, but then I didn't paste it. Uh oh. <laughs> limbo. There. There. Go, right. um, go, go follow go, cool people. Go follow our, our, our racers today. Also follow those other people from the other race. They're also great. Um, and follow the commentators. Uh, be streamer, tracker. Yeah. This this seed was honestly overall like very pow very powerful from the get go. Twin uh, twin magic is probably the best thing for the overworld as you saw. A single bluff into twin and you're rocking a thousand damage on some bosses, which mm -hmm. some of them just don't like. Yeah. Um, overall, yeah, it was it was absolutely pretty pretty good power curve. Uh, very enjoyable. Very fun watching both you bonk. Uh, Scala had mentioned that we wish this was like Zero where we had a bonk counter at the end. Uh, no. Would have, been, would have been nice to see what the count was. Um, oh, but, one, uh, one last oh. request. Can you go to the Dwarf Infirmary? Yes. Oh, gosh. I didn't even think about that. Um, can you get out of... I don't Cafe know. Uh, can you? Did you get stuck? Yeah. I'm walking out of Cafe oh, okay. No, okay. I just good. stood there. <laughs> we're, we're, on, we're, we're behind you. Uh, so, I know. Um, but yeah, so uh, a question I like to ask for our of our featured racers each week, wacky races is. Oh, that's not. Uh, bad. Is, is, is there a wacky flag that you hope is on the wheel? If you haven't seen what's on the wheel, uh, that you would love to see uh, for next week. So the only wacky flags I've ever played have been now this on um, uh, Omnidextrous and Sky Warriors, and I would love to see Sky Warriors for one reason. Mm -hmm. You see Palum and you look and you go, you are a bad thing right now because <laughs> Quake is useless. <laughs> and you're just okay. like, what on earth is Sky Warriors? Sky Warriors is a flag where all, all float units is floating. Uh, Your entire party and all bosses have float. Everybody floats. Everybody floats. The first I saw when I, I saw it, I looked at the character screen and was like, oh, hey, we're all floating. Cool. That's gonna make those damage tiles real easy. Then I saw my first boss and I saw it floating, and I just started laughing. I'm like, no, pal, please. <laughs> and he was one of my two starting characters. I'm like, you're so useless like, for virus. <laughs> uh, but well, it comes with the ultimate archer battle setting. Like, hey, everyone who can use a bow, please come on board. That's true. That is very true. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much, Deathis, for restream uh, being restreamed. Um, and for for bracing today so that you couldn't barge into our commentary this time. Uh, I thought about it during the race, no, but I'm like, no, that's no, too no. No, <laughs> no, that, that would actually get you in real trouble. Yeah, I yeah. know, I know. <laughs> um, but we are going to not necessarily wrap up here, but we are going to move on yes. to the wheel segment at this point. So we can figure yes. out what it is we are doing next week. Let me, let me, let me get stuff set up there because there are physical things to be set up. Also yep. get the music ready to go. Yep. So give me one second. We're going to do this. This. And now we're going to get the music going. Alrighty. Alrighty. So oh, this. Oh, yeah. It would help if I like actually raise the volume of the music. That might be a good thing to do. Okay, everybody. So. As you all know, it is time for the wheel spin. Actually, before we do the wheel spin, though, uh, as you know, we are supposedly not sponsored by IKEA. Uh, this week, we are also supposedly not sponsored by someone else. Oh. I I'm, I'm, I'm mainly just going to give a shout out mm -hmm. because of this. What Aww. could be here? What could be here? It is. Nick <gasps> So, shout outs to the wonderful From Calico. Who's a wonderful uh, fan merch designer who made this amazing big chocobo pin that I absolutely had to uh, possess after I saw it. It's amazing. It's so cute. It's so cute. So anyway, let's get ready for the wheel spin. Uh, as you can see, as we've been removing things from the wheel, we've been adding more uh, free uh, respin segments. So basically, everything over here is our, is our respin segment. Uh, I believe this week we have the Wheel of Irrationality patent pending. Yep, patent pending. So, Trick, do you want to give me the call to when to spin this wheel? Trick? Trick's mic is muted. Oh, no! Okay, that's I'm fine. A, everyone, I'm alive, in fact. Spin! Okay. Spin. Spin. spin for me! Spin that wheel! Ooh, got a nice spin. That was, that was a good oh, spin. Wow. We'll, we'll be here a while. 
Yeah, he could lean it. Oh, I'm trying not to actually hit the uh, hit my mic. Oh, what is it? Ooh, it is number seven. That is something worth fighting for. Ooh, that's a fun one. Uh, so, let me uh, briefly explain what something worth fighting for is. Uh, so you know how we have encounter chests um, where you you go to them, you find a, a, a fight, and you get a good piece of item. Uh, what if every chest was an encounter chest? What? Wait. Excuse me? So if you if you want to open that chest uh, and you want to keep what the item is, you better be ready to, to fight for it. Is it something worth fighting for? That's the are question. They, are they all very good? Uh, no, it's just the normal... Uh, Treasure chest yep. settings, uh, but why? Uh, I feel very attacked here. Um, <laughs> no, it, it, it gets worth that worth status because we have a themed objective every week, and yeah. the, the themed objective is to uh, open the Troy Treasury. <laughs> Do you want what's in them? You gotta you really want, it want the... it. <laughs> why do you attack the loot goblins like myself? How dare you? Go attack someone. It. So that is what's going to be going on next week. This is uh, one of the uh, ones that I chose to be on the more difficult side of the scale, the slightly more mean ones to balance out some of the fun ones. There's only a couple of those hits on here, but I'm glad we hit this one. This will be a delight. Yes, let me go ahead and get this to an outro screen so I can put the wheel back down. Also, by the way, as well as being three for three on not getting the intro correct, I am also three for three on getting on the wheel trying to attack me. <laughs> Though this time it happened, it happened before stream, but still. Oh no. We, wheel Chan, you have to understand that I love you very, very much. And you, have, it, it, you have to stop Chan's, falling on me. <laughs> just a so wheel dare. Yeah, it's just yes, just a wheel dare. Yeah. Yes. Just. All right. Let me go ahead and transition over. All right. Well, that is it for this week of Wacky Races. We will see y'all back next week at 2 p.m. Eastern time uh, or whatever that converts to in your local time zone. Uh, Scala, do you know where we're sending yeah, this, uh, I this have party? Yeah, I have a good idea of where we're going. I'm just making sure before we do the thing. And while Scala is making sure, huge shout outs once again to my co-commentator, Trick Dempsey. First time on the mic, absolutely killed it. This was a pleasure, and I look forward to hearing your lovely commentary more going forward. Thank you very much. Zoe, it is always a pleasure. You are an incredible commentator and uh, the, the best partner I could have for, for my first time on, on here. Yeah. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> also, shout-outs to... Oh, no. It's, what it's, happens? It's, it, was, it was the FF5 chocobo theme? So in the oh. middle of all your wonderful, like, like <laughs> complimenting, go, <laughs> you know what? That is pretty much the uh, the perfect way to end this. So um, good. Anyway, we are going to be raiding uh, I Klopfer. Uh, just Ooh. so you know, Klopfer is in the middle of a 2v2 race with a stone dingley. So if you are planning to be a part of the Troya Tango that, that's going on right now, please do not follow along because, you know, you don't want to get spoiled for that. We love the wonderful uh, Troya Tango. That is our 2v2 club, which is run by Lady Id and Emily's poorly drawn bees. It's a lot of fun. So we'll let you all kind of go take a look at it. But remember, if you want to actually participate, please do not go to the raid and uh, go and uh, make that be something fun. <laughs> the plus are making this so much better. <laughs> Oh but, my. Well, but thank you all so much for joining us again for Wacky Races. Yeah, thank you all so, so much. Uh, and thank you to Scala and Ali uh, for restreaming and tracking, respectively, and chiming in as you both do wonderfully. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Goodbye.